folks, we're here with the new Marvel Legends Army Building Frost Giant. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's go. Alright geeks, we're here with McFarlane Toys, The Witcher Wild Hunt. Ice Giant, I believe. Yeah, Ice Giant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what they say on the box, but the minute this was announced, everybody's first thought was, I'm gonna use this as a frost giant. You can even double for one of those, uh, I don't know what they're called, those uh, Game of Thrones, Icy Snow Winters Coming Giants. It looks almost exactly the same. But yeah, I ordered a bunch of these because I'm going to put one with my Witcher shelf and then the rest are going to be Frost Giants <laughs> when I put my Thor shelf together. Anyway, let's take a look at the box. All right, so it comes with a nice funky backdrop that would be nice for pictures but it's gonna have holes in it from the binders. Now, I don't know how whole, I don't know how big the hole's gonna be yet, but you might be able to gloss them out with some Photoshop. Well, the holes aren't that bad after all, but I didn't see the McFar stand down there, so that's gonna ruin it, because when you take that off, it's gonna rip the pattern off with it. Regular size McFar stand for a really big figure. Well, boys and girls, I'll tell you one thing. Do not throw away that McFar stand. You're gonna need it because those feet are not designed well. All right, let's go ahead and bask in all of his poorly standing ice giant glory. Keith Lee. The head sculpt on this bad boy is amazeballs. A good detail there. I like there's this one little patch of hair coming out from the front of his skull. But look, he's got his little elephant man thing going on here. Let me get in here, his eyes are red and glossy. And look at his teeth, they're all messed up and he's got his mustache. Great, I love, 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 love that a lot of times McFarlane really goes into detail with the sculpt work on his figures. A lot of them, most of them I should say, look really, really good. Look at his skin, that was crazy. Okay, look at his chest. Look how his pecs sag down, because his chest should, well his chest is right up here, but it sags down here and his nipples are like hanging down down there. That's a nice touch. He's got his little fur coat here. And he's got those ropes going around and oh, a couple of them move, soft rubber. He's going down his waist. That's tunic here, that's up under there. Oh, you knew I was gonna look, he's got some pants on. And he's got either bamboo or bones? Oh, yeah. I think it's a mix of bamboo and bones going down his leg. Now, I don't. I watched the whole Witcher season one. I don't remember seeing this guy. I have to go back and look. And I loved it too. I was one of the people that was talking trash about it, but I don't remember Ice Giants. Alright, so. I don't know. If, oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, a little movement on the head there. There's a lot going on. Okay, you can see. The head peg comes forward instead of going straight up. But I don't know how much of a turn you can get there. Okay, so he turns like so. I think if you keep going, it's gonna pop off the peg. Let me try the other way. Oh, 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 oh. We've got lift off. Oh, we do get a 360 on the head. Well, I'll be. Oh, well, there's a will. There's a way. All right, I like that. We get a tilt? Not really. Well, I guess we wouldn't get a tilt because the peg goes forward, so everything's a tilt when it goes in a 360. Did we get a look up? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you can look up, all right. Oh, there you can see the peg now. All right, there we go. So the head there really doesn't tilt down all that much. Arms go yay high. 
at that mirror. His wingspan is absolutely ridiculous. Range in, range back. I break into your house, what would you do? Single jointed elbows give you near perfect 90 degree angles. You get 360 at the shoulder joint. I'm doing it like this because I don't want to fuck up against his little sweater there in cashmere. Uh, there does not appear to be a bicep so well. Nope, I thought it might be hidden under that rope. Like we might, yeah, get a 360 at that single jointed elbow. We do get a 360 at the wrist. Biggest repulsor blast ever. Hold my clammy hand, kiss the ice ring. So he does have an abdominal rocker, but you don't really get that much movement out of it. The little bit of movement you're seeing is actually from the waist hip rocker. Doesn't really flex forward that much. Doesn't flex back that much either. You get more movement at the, well actually no, that's his hip joint, let me see here. Let me hold the waist. Oh, so that was wrong. There is no rocker at the waist. But I think you do get a 360. Hey, you get 360 at the waist. You get 360 at that abdominal joint. Let's see if I can hold it. Oh yeah, you do. Yep, 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 look at that. You get all twisted up. Lean with it, rock with it. Not much on the bend over, which means he really can't, can't. Not much of a banana split range either. Single jointed knee with very limited range. There is no thigh swivel. That's as high as that bad boy gets. Check that leg just in case. Yeah, it's the same. He's not a prancer. He's not much of a dancer either. That foot does not point upwards much. Unless you count the articulated toes. So no prancing, no dancing. Your ice giant is so big. How big is he? He comes in at right at 10 inches. Here he is next to the Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Surter. And there he is back to back with the Marvel Universe Frost Giant. All right, so my thoughts. He looks really good, really limited articulation. He can't stand up worth a lick without that McFarr stand. And even with it, he's kind of wonky. I edited out all the falls, but I think while I was doing this, he fell probably about seven or eight times making me question whether I actually want to keep my other pre-orders. I'm gonna at least let one come and see if it's just this one that won't stand up, but if it's all of them, I'm gonna return them and just keep maybe one or two. Anyway, let me know what you think. Are you interested in this guy? After my review, are you still interested in this guy? Are you gonna army build with him? Or are you gonna wait for Hasbro to put out a real Marvel Legends Frost Giant? All right, sound off in the comments, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, make sure to share with a friend. Till next time, geek out.